Where are we? We are at Dr. Reza Kordestani's office in McLean, Virginia. Really? We have our, this is the second appointment. Um, this is a pre-op appointment for my ultrasonic rhinoplasty. I'm very excited. The surgery is scheduled for next Friday. Today's Tuesday, so we have 10 days. We are 10 days out from me having a brand new nose. And I'm very excited about it. So. You should be. It's going to be <laughs> sculpted. It's going to be snatched. Snatched. Skinny, tiny, cute, brilliant. You're already cute. Thank you, but it's going to be cuter. A booty, not tiny. Get that good angle. See, see? Not the good angle, get the bad angle. The bad angles. Excited? Yes, <laughs> you're gonna look awesome with this. Okay, did you get your instructions already? Yes. Okay, good. Where are they? Okay. In my bag. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Um, so basically, okay, we're gonna take out the filler. Yes. That I originally put, and then you had one more time afterwards. Yes. The incision is gonna be all the way under here. Mm -hmm. You're not even gonna see it once you're two, three months out. It's gonna be completely gone. Just need good exposure to, you know, get all that filler out. We're gonna have something called a uh, push down or a let down rhinoplasty. It just means that I, it means that I like the narrowness of your bridge here. So I'm gonna preserve that. Um, some people call it preservation rhinoplasty. Some, we can call it whatever. Basically, it's going to be with an ultrasound, and so the bones aren't broken, they're just reshaped. And then they're going to be brought in where, like that photo that I showed you. You have a deep radix here, that's mm -hmm. called the radix. That's actually good, it looks feminine. So I'm going to take that filler out and let it be a little bit deeper and lower down. Mm -hmm. um, so that it just gives you a more feminine look to the nose. And then take the bump down. I remember when we first did your uh, filler, you know, part of the reason that the tip was falling like that is because um, you don't have very good tip support. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of um, uh, cartilage from your septum, which is the center part of your nose, and to give the tip a little bit more support. When we do these rhinoplasties, this portion is all swollen, the tip gets swollen. It looks weird initially. Like sometimes if this part's really swollen, it looks like the nose is like yeah. pointing up too much, but it's because this part is swollen. Gotcha. When all that goes down, like it'll look awesome. Okay, okay the ultrasound, uh, the, the, because the bones aren't broken, you you may have the faintest bruise, maybe like a faint yellow or yeah. faint dark bruise, uh, but that goes away really quickly. Okay. What works well is to put get frozen peas. That's literally what I said I was gonna do. Yeah, I did and that you for can my, use those. Yeah. yeah, that's what I did for my breast stock. Did you tell me? I don't know if you told me that. I think no, like, you just that's figured it out. Yeah, yeah. his peas are small one. enough yeah. and they conform to. Yeah, you know, that's what um, I pulled out of my freezer. And then don't sleep flat. Uh, yeah. Afterwards, otherwise your face will blow up when, yeah. them when you wake up. In the I morning. found a pillow. On that Amazon. will kind of help yeah. you. Yeah. And then you have to kind of sleep with your head elevated above your heart for at least a week. Okay. Um, you'll have the kind of cast on top. You'll have uh, some tape there too. Um, your nose will get really stuffy. It'll be congested. You won't be able to breathe very well, especially on the second day. Your whole face will swell. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it alarms people, but it's yeah, normal. Yeah. If I'm in the surgery and it looks like your nostrils are flaring too much, meaning coming outward too much, then sometimes right in the crease in here of the nose, mm -hmm. um, I will uh, uh, take out a little bit of skin. Okay. But it's in the crease here and nobody yeah. ever sees it, it heals and there's nothing was there. Um, since you're on any breathing issues, it makes the surgery a little easier. Yeah. So it should be good. Okay. Cool. What questions did you have for me? I don't have any, to be honest. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, yours is going to be where? In Oval Orton? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Um, they, uh, oh, you got a physical on KG already. Perfect. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to take your photos. Okay. okay. Um, are you allergic to any medication? Not that I know. No, what out. pain pills will I have? <laughs> you Okay, that's really all you have to do. There's okay. some drainage for the first couple of days. It's normal. Okay. And then I get my cast taken off. I think it's like a week after. Yeah. After and then the stitches come out then too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So exciting. Good. All right. Let me get that down. So that we okay. Five degrees for me. Yeah. Okay. You have any competitions coming up afterwards? Not until like mid July. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. At least the wall. There. I was gonna do one in June, but it's too close. So I'm turning this. Way. 
Okay, perfect. So you have a good good bone structure, so this it'll look good. It'll look really good. So no work now for a whole week, like anything. And then your second. You can walk on the treadmill, okay. um, just so you don't lose it. You and know, just don't so get my heart rate up over a hundred. Yeah, because it can make your nose bleed. Okay. And you'll have to just breathe through your mouth. So. Yeah. Um, likely that I'll need to put tubes inside your nose. If I do, you come at like uh, two, three days after instead of the one week after, and okay. I take those tubes out. Okay. That's pretty it's much it. Only ten days. Okay. Ten days. Ten days away? Yeah. Okay, good. I know. You're I'm just like, for you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know when it's coming up, but I know we're doing it. Okay. <laughs> or else, or in your lip to flip it up. Yeah. All that will make it small. Good to know. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. He's excited. He came in here all giddy. He's like... She actually is going to do it. She's been saying she's going to do it for three whole years. Look at this. Can you believe this is inside my body? This is in my body. Ooh. What CC is that? 415, this is what I have. Thank Next. you for thank you for watching this far. It is Tuesday, February 20th, and the surgery is March 1st. First. Just First. let's just get one more good look. Oh lord. Mm -mm. I thought about getting a facial before to get all the blackheads out of it before I chop it all off, you know. Let's fast forward to March 1st. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Yes. So we have Oxycodone, Permethazine, and Clindamycin, and Diazepam. So this is the one I'm supposed to take now, Diazepam. One year of surgery. So we're gonna take it out in the car with a little sip of Adam's pineapple juice. I'm gonna have to look for the camera. Trucks. I don't think I've ever taken diazepam. Diazepam. Nice. Alright, time to enter chill mode apparently. Adam's gonna be my doctor today. And we can watch, we can watch, um, what can we watch? Uh, be a doctor. Mr. You. I'm being a nurse. Yeah, my nurse. We can watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. I don't want to do it anymore. I changed my mind. Good morning, everybody. It is surgery day. So this is day one. I'm going to do vlogs every single day after my surgery. I'm getting a rhinoplasty, an ultrasonic rhinoplasty. So we're getting taken care of the snows here. It's very cold today. It's like 30 degrees. I'm so hungry. I just had to sign some forms. So we did that. And then they're going to take me back in a little bit to do my pre op stuff. I just want my Ninja Creamy. They say how long it will be? What? Surgery? Mm -hmm. Surgery starts at 12. I should be done by like 3.30 or 4. Mm -hmm. And then I should be back awake by like 5. They're going to call Adam to come get me. Um, probably about 30 minutes before he needs to be here. So hopefully he can just sip on over here as soon as they call him. Then we're going to go home. 
We're just gonna chill. Bye. 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 Take my coat. I got your coat. I love you. All right. I did a little behind the scenes earlier. Did you? I just can't look at my hand. It's kind of freaking me out. Don't record it. I don't have to watch it. It's freaking me out. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's figure out something funny to watch. It's not the same. It's too kiddish. Alright, let's do something. We're about to eat some cow I don't know. What's going on? Let's see. That's like air fried cow tongue. Bravo. Let's do some bravo on Netflix. On Netflix. Yeah. yeah, let's look up food. I don't want to say anything. That's true. So, because she trains really heavy, do you train with her? Oh, uh, you are training her. I yeah. Train her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just want her arms. Okay. <laughs> um, if um, I just want it to look like amazing. Oh well. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Let me just feel. People keep on saying, "Oh, it's not gonna look that much." Yeah, I'm gonna take out the filler here. Mm -hmm. Um, the filler and the tip, and then um, I'm gonna take your hump down. And then the tip's going to be basically, you know, pre-op, before you had any filler or anything, your tip didn't have a lot of good support to right. it. So I take some um, cartilage from your septum area. It mm -hmm. won't affect your breathing or okay. anything. And then uh, from there, I'll give it some more tip support. Right? You know, sometimes if your nostrils kind of curl upwards yeah. too much, I'll take out a little bit at the bottom yeah. here, um, but th it'll be imperceptible. It, it, it's in a groove, so it's... He sent me one the other day. It looked so good. I almost yeah. cried. Yeah, yeah. Oh. In the beginning, what you'll notice is like the tip looks like it's a little too projected outward compared mm -hmm. to the dorsum, we right. call it. Right. But that's done because the tip drops a little right. um, over time. Yeah. So like initially it, like it may look up. like it's too much. Like a Tinkerbell too much? Yeah. yeah. And then That's what I noticed on a lot of the reviews I read too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it always does that. If we don't do that, then it falls too much. Yeah. Makes okay. sense. All right, anything else? No. All right, you ready? I'm excited. Well, I'll see you in the uh, recovery area after. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right, Bye. take care. Bye. Thank you. Shout out to Andrea, my girl, about to go on stage. Have a nose party? I was like, I'm feeling Miami. I thought we need to go to Miami to celebrate your new nose. I was like, so they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna put your nose in my yeah. nose trip. <laughs> I'll fly your nose out. Yeah. I'll fly your nose out to Vegas. So, this is how many days post surgery? Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days post surgery. How are you feeling so far? Um, I feel really good. I just took my pain pill at twelve. So, so I had my surgery Friday. It is now Tuesday. It's one o'clock. Um, I took my pain pill at twelve. So I usually feel pretty good for like two hours. And then it starts, I start to feel it again. My pain level has not gone over an eight. My pain is like four out of 10. Like it's not really painful. It's more just like sore. And the worst part of all of it, honestly, is the headaches and not being able to like breathe. Like when I try to go to sleep at night, like I keep waking myself up because I can't breathe. That's like annoying because sleep is important especially during this process i started taking ambien on sunday or yeah sunday and that has helped a lot now i've only woken up like twice a night rather than like the first couple nights i was waking up like six times a night <laughs> like every hour i was waking up um because i've been having to sleep straight up so not completely straight up but like at an angle so we're going right now to lunch because I wanted to treat Adam to lunch because he's been taking care of me and it's just the sweetest thing ever. So I finally feel like okay going outside. <laughs> um, 
I really don't, I know this is crazy going to a restaurant looking like this, but I really don't care. I just want to, I just need, like, to not be cooped up in the house. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go get some food, and then we're going to go to my post-op appointment at 2.30 with Reza in McLean. And we're going to take out the stuffing. There's, like, tubes in my nose and stuffing in my nose. Um, he'll explain kind of what that's for, but I'm pretty sure it's just to, like for the healing process so the nose stays like shaped. I don't know, we'll see what he said. He said we'll get the cast off on Thursday. Um, maybe he'll take it off today and like redo it just to look at it, but I don't know. I would kind of like that, we'll see. Um, also, I want to preface and say that the nose is slightly tilted up for reasons because he told me that as it heals it'll slowly come down so if it looks like it's pointing upwards that's why also my face is extremely swollen um it wasn't really swollen on friday right when i got out of surgery or saturday that much but sunday i woke up and it was like insanely swollen like as you can see like my cheeks are so swollen but yeah I overall feel really good definitely would do this again um, I'm planning on doing cardio today, not insane cardio, I'm just going to walk like outside just to get some steps in because I really haven't done much. Diet wise, I've been Friday, um, obviously I didn't eat all day <laughs> until after surgery at like 7pm, 8pm, so barely ate Friday. Saturday, um, I ate around my maintenance calories Sunday I ate around 200 calories less than my maintenance because I didn't I haven't been doing any physical activity um, and yeah yesterday I ate again about 200 calories less than my maintenance calories because I haven't been doing any physical activity today I'm gonna do about the same um, just because I don't want to you know gain any weight while I'm not exercising obviously and my body's kind of freaking out right now because I'm on all these medications and my digestion's kind of messed up from that as well I didn't go to the bathroom for like two or three days which is normal um, but diet wise we're staying pretty strict on that and just making sure my proteins like 160 grams a day and eating pretty clean like you'd think that I would eat like really bad off diet but there's really no point because you can't taste anything <laughs> Sunday I really wanted to get pizza or was it yesterday I don't know but I literally was on uber eats for like an hour trying to decide if I wanted to order like gluten-free ingredients to make a gluten-free pizza or get gluten-free pizza from a restaurant and I was trying to figure out the, the cheapest healthiest option like lowest carb option and the most affordable because i hate ordering food because it's just so expensive it's like 45 dollars to order food i think that's so stupid but obviously i can't drive and adam was working and then i ended up just eating my meal prep instead because i was like bitch you can't even taste it like really my taste is like 50 percent. so like when i have my coffee i have to put like triple the amount of stevia in it to just taste the sweetness because I can't smell anything and that's like a big part of your taste I guess you know with all that to say I've been eating really healthy very proud of myself um, ninja creamies have been really saving my life I love ninja creamies we're about to go to a Thai place I've been wanting to try this Thai place and I think a little spice will do do me good I also would love to try noodles and company but I've never been there I wonder if they have gluten-free have you ever been to noodles and company no I need rice I know, I'm just curious. I think they have rice too. Alright, so the place we're going is called Tyson's. I mean, some places would be like oh, brown rice. Nah, not yeah. Thai food. I want no damn brown rice. We have a little sips of my latte here. Almond milk, sugar free, vanilla latte. Two stevia. Mm -hmm. So good. Alright, we're at Rez's oh, office. Oh, yeah, 20. <laughs> we don't want nothing alike. We all black though, so. All right, we are here. We are present, ready. Get this shit out of me. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we are about to get this taken care of. I mean, it's already taken care of. We just 
I'm gonna move some stuff. Look like my ass was beat low key. Are you recording? I am. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We need to get me home soon because this pain pill is starting to wear off. What? What? My church just slipped in, and you know that we locked in. Oh my god. Look at this. That's crazy. Somewhat slower. Somewhat. I'm very excited to be here. You look so excited. I'm really excited to be here. I'm just ready to see if I should take care of. What's the best thing about getting in those? I said I'll be able to pull off a bob. If I don't want to, you know, explore what a Kim K bob would be like. That would be yeah. sexy. True. We'll this is going to be crazy. Like, it's really going to change my whole face. Did you? My mom, I was talking to my mom yesterday, and she was like, it looks a lot different. I was like, yeah. Yeah, she's like, I thought it was just going to be a little. I just hope it doesn't change your face too much. And you're so beautiful. I'm like, you know, I thought that too. And I was like, might as well. Might as well snatch it as much as possible. Because I'm excited. Hello, how are you guys doing? Okay, are you ready? <laughs> you have, it's miserable. You're going to feel so much better without this uh, tube on the inside. It's so gross. I know, I know, I know. It, it's, uh, it grosses me out. I'm, you know yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm like so embarrassed that you have to like get in here because, ew. There's tubes in there. They're just meant to keep anything from bleeding in your septum because I did have to take some cartilage from there. Oh, you did? Your surgery was a little tougher. There was a lot of uh, filler still there, uh -huh. um, and it had formed like this um, uh, scar tissue around it, oh. and some of it had actually migrated, <gasps> meaning some of it had moved on to like the side. Uh -huh. of you know, so it was a lot to take it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, How long was I out for? Um, just that normal amount of time. Okay. I think it was like three and a half or so. Yeah. The nurses apparently really liked me. I don't know what else. Oh, was really? Them after, yeah, but they were like, good. they like gave me all these cookies, and That's one awesome. of them was like, "Yeah, she's never nice to anybody, but she's so nice to you." And I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> like, I'm That's like, awesome. <laughs> Okay. It's a good time. Let's have you lean back. It's gonna hurt. Take your jacket off. Yeah, it can hurt a little bit. Oh, okay. At least yeah. you're honest. Uh -huh. What's God. the post that it was gonna hurt? Huh? I said Juan said it was gonna hurt. Did he? Yeah. When he got his Oh, I'm not getting the stitches out. Okay. Yeah, it's not the stitches. I'm just gonna take this out. So I'm gonna get over your stuff. Huh? Oh, is it there? Yeah. That didn't hurt. There. Okay, look up. <laughs> now it kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm like trying not to smile. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay. I'm just going to take this part off. The cast has to stay on a little bit longer. It's a little early to take off the cast on top. Uh huh. Right. Turn this on. Ah. I know. Looking for a stitch in there. Ah! Okay, don't breathe in yet, baby nose. Oh my Ooh. god! Go. <laughs> okay. 
You'll be able to read a lot better soon. But then the problem is, right, as I take these tubes out, you'll start swelling again on the inside, so you'll get congested again. Okay, it's normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tell me when you're ready. Are you doing more? No, I'm just taking it out. Oh. just cleaning it up a little bit. Oh. What is that smell? It's from the, uh... Jesus, that smells crazy. I don't, I don't know if we should put that And some of it is like, some of it is like bloody phones that people come in with. Bloody what? Phones. It's in the trash. Oh. Oh my god. I know, this may not be one of those things you want to put on there. Look straight oh. Good. Your tip is super swollen, but it's getting warm. But it's because I had to take out all that filler too. It's looking normal. It's looking good. Really hang in. Yeah, my tip is like really swollen. Yeah. I can tell by. Yeah. Wow. And then all along here, you're swollen down here, so that will all go inward. Mm -hmm. So then the nose doesn't look like it's pointing out too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now you just um, so can you use saline. Test was like you can use. Room. <laughs> um, you can use saline nasal spray uh -huh. on the inside of your nose. Don't blow your nose yet. Uh, you okay. can cause bleeding. And then uh, leave everything on. You know, the, the bruising that you have is normal. It'll go away pretty soon. Just, you know, take your pain meds if you need it. Um, and keep your head elevated. You can still ice everything. Okay. So I'll see you Thursday. Okay, I don't, have, I don't think off. I have that schedule. Yeah, they schedule it in the front. Okay, you're going to get the cast off Thursday mm -hmm. and the stitches? Yeah, oh. Thursday. Wow. Uh, in these ones uh, at the ALA area, mm -hmm. only half of those come out. Okay. The other half will come out uh, on Tuesday. Okay. And you think my tip's just super swollen because the filler is taken out? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, I figured. Yeah, big time. That's yeah, why, that like, even in the long. video you said, I could see one side was a little more swollen. Yeah. From the filler. And Big I was time. like, it'll get like that. Yeah, because I've seen videos of. It, mi it migrated more on your, the filler migrated on the more on your left. Yeah. Than on the right. Yeah. I had noticed that because I was like massaging my nose before mm -hmm. the surgery, like always trying to make it. Yeah. Filler left at the top yeah. part here. It was more just all stuck in a scar ball and the tip. Yeah. So the swelling will just come down like after. It takes a long yeah. time, yeah. but it will come down. Because when they dissolve filler, you inject something. Hyaluronic. Yeah. Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, it's, uh, even you, you do that, it's it's stuck in a scar ball, so it doesn't really. Yeah. On other areas, but not what not the filler you got. And that wasn't that bad. Y'all scared me more. Y'all said I was gonna hurt. I would say that was like a <laughs> seven out of ten pain. Yeah. Six. Oh, it, that's it's bad. <laughs> and then the <laughs> stitches coming out down here. It was here. like a relief. Pain. Feeling oh. it, having it come out. The the um, these here just can kind of make your uh, eyes water when I take them out. But yeah. it's it's alright. It's not too bad. Wow. Yeah. I can actually breathe. Yeah. It's, it's getting there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right, hang in there. We'll see it's you totally Thursday. Worth it. People okay. keep messaging me. They're like, "Are you sure you wanted to do this now? Like, you look like you're fucked up." I'm like, <laughs> "I would do it five more times." I saw that. I've, I've, I've showed the picture to like a couple friends. Yeah. But like people keep asking me, and I'm like, "No, I'm not going to show you until like." Yeah, actually. and you can kind of see uh, yeah. where the border of your nose is, if because yeah. there's a foam on top. Yeah. And so you can really see where it starts, and then now, your tip, of course, is over projected right now because it's swollen smaller. and and. The, the cartilage tip has so extra support because it's going to come back yeah. a little bit. So it's going to look really My good. dad's like, <laughs> sent, like I sent him the picture and he sent it to me, sent it back to me when I was, um, he was messaging me about um, like how the pain meds were working and everything. And he like just sent it to me. He was like, it's totally worth it. <laughs> 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 like he sent me back the picture. I'm like, dad, he's <laughs> like my biggest support. So you know, anytime you're certain. changing like the framework of somebody's yeah. face, those are kind of like, Vibeplaz is doing yeah. mainly the frame. Yeah. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks really good. Yeah. I'm like so excited. See you soon, okay? <laughs> Bye. Oh. And you may have not heard it because it was uncomfortable. Saline nasal spray. Oh, I think they gave five me that. Five times a day. Oh, five times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It wasn't that bad. I didn't know it was going to hurt, though. Yeah.
Oh, I felt that. That was a big ass tube that came out. That tube was massive. Like wait, how big? Wait, wait until you see the video. Like, bro. Like, <laughs> like this. I like, mean, it was all the way up. Like, no. <laughs> like three inches. Berkies, Sherpa Berkies, swaggy today. Don't you look like you set, coach, nose cast. It's a vibe. My third coffee of the day. The first coffee though was a mushroom coffee. The second coffee was a real coffee. Uh, an espresso it was delicious. It was hot latte. And then this is a iced instant coffee, but it's decaf, so. She's obsessed. Yeah, it's like super small. Yeah, yeah, all along here. So all of this is going to narrow big time. Like it's just going to be this narrow. You can look in the mirror and see. Yeah. So all of this right here is big time swelling yeah. that goes down. The nice, it's going to be like a nice narrow because right now what you see and what's going to make it look so much better is this looks wide yeah, in nice. relation to the base of your nose yeah. down here. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to look like that later because all this will go in now. I'm not going to press it because yeah. the bone's still healing. Yeah, it's still sensitive. But, yeah. Then we got that. Yeah. And awesome. this is all crazy swollen. Yeah. So. And a little bit. This oh, is yeah. You start wrong. looking like you have jowls. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, the other day, I was like, I haven't worked on six days. I'll be in 20 yeah, yeah. It literally, my face was like. Well, the other problem is they, uh, they give you a lot of uh, salt water uh, in surgery. And the day it blows after, you up. Yeah. I had no abs. Like, yeah. literally nothing. And it I was takes, like, yeah, it holy takes, shit. it takes three weeks for your body to get what rid of all that salt. What was crazy is I was, like, when I went in there, she mm -hmm. gave me extra. And she was like, you're so dehydrated, which is weird. And I was like, well, it's probably because I drink a gallon, like, a gallon, gallon and a half every day. Uh -huh. And when I got there, it was, like, 1230 and I hadn't oh. had any water all day. Yeah. So my body had, like pushed all the water out and yeah. I literally like my pee was like bright yellow oh my god and she was like yeah. you're so dehydrated do you not yeah. drink water I was like girl <laughs> I drink a lot of water I'm usually I know about water I was like I'm usually like 80 ounces in at this time but I haven't right. had anything to eat that was that was one of the hardest things yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Food. I got mad at Adam that morning because um I was making him breakfast and he was like I want some bacon and I was like you really want me to <laughs> cook bacon and I have to watch you eat bacon <laughs> oh my god so, so. <sighs> So much better. These these are called steri strips. Okay. okay. The way um. Um. And then how long do I tape it? Someone said to tape it for like a year. Every oh, night. Oh, I tell people just do three months okay. at night. So you put this on. I'm gonna get some cute little scissors. Yeah. You can get some scissors. <laughs> okay. Then. Thing. And as you work your way down, you kind of just press so that all this comes. And this just helps at night so it doesn't like... Just Swell keep. like crazy. In the beginning, it's better to put it on all the time. Okay. Um, at least three weeks, if you can. Throughout the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. can you do that? Oh okay. yeah, I don't care. Okay. It's a look. <laughs> it sure is. I will do whatever I need to do because I've heard, I've been researching a lot and some people are like, I didn't do any post-op care and it really changed how my nose turned out. Mm -hmm. so my I, think, I think the only thing really that you can kind of see happen if, if you don't tape is extra bone can form. Like anytime you break a bone or mess with a bone, it can form extra bone as it's healing. Um. Just like it would anywhere else. So the tape, I think, helps keep that callus, which is an extra bone that forms, yeah. um, to a minimum. Why well, don't people just keep a cast on for like three weeks? Because it needs it just to breathe. up your skin. Yeah. Oh. Because at this point, the um, there is a callus that's formed on the sides of your nose where the bone is healing, uh -huh. which is good. We want that. Uh -huh. um, so it it won't move unless it's really hardly you know it, it's pressed on pretty firmly. Okay. You can use the saline uh, spray 
uh, don't blow your nose yet. Okay. And then um, uh, use these. I okay. just got you a bunch. Okay. So all of this. Okay. Beautiful. Let me see. And what should I use after this? Just buy like. You can buy more of it on Amazon or okay. something. I've seen and she can't be exposed to sunlight. Oh yeah. Right now. Um, these uh -huh. sides. Try not to, or wear a hat. Okay. And that should be okay. To do. How long do you think? That um, be okay. like a few, uh, like a few months if you can. But if you guys are planning a vacation, don't yeah. worry about it. You can. I'm go. going to the beach. Um, the 22nd of March. That's fine. But I'll okay. obviously do. And then put the zinc. Um, you know the lifeguard kind of sunblock on. You know the one where the the whole tip of their nose looks white. Oh yeah. Okay. But just put it on the sides here. Oh, okay. okay. It's a uh, zinc but oxide. You're talking about because of the scarring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can turn it brown. That's all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, gotcha. we don't want that shit. Gotcha. And then I can't wear sunglasses. Um. Not yet. But you okay. can then. Yeah. Let's have it off. That's okay. Good. Show like the um, video you took where it was a little bit more pointy. Mm -hmm. Was that? that or, that's what you'll see okay. again. Yeah, cool. kind of um, uh, a little bit less than that because we overdo yeah, it, it during right. uh, the surgery because uh, some of it goes down. But. Yeah. Okay. Good. I will, um, let's see, come Tuesday I'll take out the rest of the stitches. Okay. Okay. All right. Good, Good seeing you. you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. see you too. I randomly it was bleeding this morning. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's, um, when the um, when they're swelling and um, the air is dry, uh -huh. it does that. Uh -huh. So if you use like a humidifier, it'll okay. help a lot. Okay. Um, you make it a little easier for you to breathe. Yeah. Okay. Let me take out these stitches here. I'm keeping it tape for most days too. Good. I just took off the tape before I came. Yes, it's definitely getting smaller every day. Wow. Yes. It's still very tender. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice and straight all along here. Nice mm -hmm. tip support. Your scar is healing really well. The inside is very swollen, so that yeah. all go down too. What questions do you have for me? Nothing really. Think? No. Um, I guess when I can start working out. Yeah. Do uh, low intensity stuff now. When can I get my heart rate back up? Like uh, in one more week. Okay. And then you can just put, um, oh, I saw your thing about the uh, sunblock. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's funny. You can use it underneath your nose, too, for that scar. Uh, yeah, that. I had some on it this morning. Too. Good. Bleeding on the sides, you know, you can, it's like the ointment that you were using. Oh, okay. Okay. Everything's healing up great. The nose will, like I said, continue to shrink. I think a lot of your swelling was from all that fluid that they gave you because you were dehydrated. Yeah. Sure that. Oh! I'm yeah. I'm trying to distract you. <laughs> <laughs> that one, her <laughs> A gallon a day. Wow. At least. And then do I'm you like have to need take to sneeze so bad. I've been needing to sneeze like for like, I haven't sneezed in like two weeks. Yeah. Like every and then time you have to sneeze with your mouth open. So. I haven't done it. I haven't sneezed. <laughs> Okay, like every time I'm about to sneeze, I like make myself not. So I'm like, it's yeah, really good, good. I like that. Don't, don't <laughs> sneeze. Lots of water. Have you sent your mom updates? Yeah, I've been sending her updates every single day. It's really funny. Yeah. She's like, it looks good. Yeah, she's so excited too. Lucky. <laughs> Somebody else just asked me today if they should do nose for that. I said no. No. Don't do it. It migrates. Because yeah. that's not something that we knew about a while yeah. ago. Okay. Still very swollen up at the bridge here. Yeah. That's very normal. You actually, um, if you press on the nose, mm -hmm. you'll be able to kind of see um, how narrow it is mm -hmm. I can without all it. the swelling. Like, actually, right, like between your eyes, super swollen. All along here, super swollen. That'll all go down. Um, any tenderness when I press? Yeah, like just that? a little. Just like a, like, uh, like a break. Like an ache? Um, like a six, 
five. So once this part goes down and this part narrows uh -huh. as much as we want to see, yeah. it's going to be even all along here. Yeah, on the top. Because this is where it migrated to. Yeah. Right here. It was yeah. injected here and started migrating to the sides. Okay. So that's why. Okay, everything, <laughs> it's like, looks nice and centered. Mm -hmm. Um, you have these sutures on the inside there. Okay. Those will um, uh, fall out on their own. What are they? Sutures. What are sutures? Uh, stitches. Oh, uh, okay. On the inside. They're okay. absorbable stitches. Oh, oh yeah. okay. They'll all go down. Cool. Okay. And it's very like symmetrical from the bottom too. And that there's, like in the beginning it's not. Mm -hmm. the bottom, it's Yours is getting there. It's, uh, you're a little more swollen on one yeah. side than the other. But this is all becoming more and more symmetric for sure. Yeah. yeah. And the scar is basically hidden yeah. um, completely. And these ailer ones, they'll heal without yeah. even knowing anything yeah. ever happened. You can massage the sides of your nose if you want to just help with the swelling sometimes. You can still ice it, ice still helps. Okay. Um, the taping keep doing um, at night, especially because when you lay your yeah. uh, head flat. You know, you can use like the saline nasal spray. Yeah. That'll help a lot and just patience. Yeah, yeah, he sent me the pictures yesterday he took in here. Yeah. <laughs> Way different, right? Well, I can't believe I was walking around with that. Yeah, well, you know what partly uh, it was is, um, this is my just theory, thinking about how much migration scar tissue mm -hmm. you have, then maybe there's something that fillers are doing when they're lingering like that, that causes a little inflammation yeah. like that. Because the tip of your nose, I remember, was like had a little reddish appearance. Yeah. It's usually not something normal that yeah. you would have or that you yeah. had before. You yeah. did not. Yeah. So that's I think it caused like some low grade inflammation yeah. potentially. So it's yeah. good to get it out and and it causes that kind of like that round appearance yeah. to it. Yeah. It was always really red. Yeah. It was super red. Yeah, yeah, and it's already getting better. Yeah. yeah. Redness. Especially when I was like super dehydrated or. Um, I guess, I don't know, it, sometimes it would be like super red, like mm -hmm. super, super red. Like my other coach that does um, my video calls with me, yeah. he'd be like, why do you look like Rudolph? Like randomly, like in the wind. Yeah, window. so other people yeah, would like notice too. Yeah, and it was just yeah. like right there. I think it has to do with like low grade inflammation yeah. causes. It's going yeah. now, so the redness is going away. Oh, so like the one year mark, it'll yeah. start feeling a little softer okay. at that point. Okay, I'm really happy with it so yeah. far, and and your unusually longer amount of swelling is again. I think you already know this is because of all that filler that I take out. Yeah, hey, yeah. We did what we had to do. Yeah. All right, good. And then I'll see you again. Um, this is your two week mark. It would be two weeks Friday. Oh, it's come uh, at your three week mark, uh, okay. or excuse me, your four week mark. Four week mark. Right? Follow up. Yeah. Yeah, it, um, and uh, do it uh, however it's convenient for work because I know okay. you're, you know, you're back to work. So if it needs to be okay. on like a Friday afternoon, okay. you guys, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Good. Thank I'll you. I'll see you guys then. Okay. All right. Thanks. How do you feel? How do you feel? It really does look less red. Either it was always reddish or like a slight tone red. Let's look at this real quick. On your nose, on the tip of your nose. It's definitely went down. Look at this, you guys. A lot. <laughs> Turn this way. So far. Do I need to make it bigger? Yeah, make it a little bit bigger. So it's crazy. It's like so swollen. When it's you, still like the same size here. It's still it's still the same size, but the shape has changed, and then obviously like what we know about uh, nose jobs and rhinoplasty is that your your size is going to go down even more after couple of months and then it's final form within a year. Yeah, it's definitely narrow. Narrow on that one. Yeah. Definitely. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. You happy? Yeah. Just probably two more weeks and we'll do a little check in. Um, but I'm very happy with where we're at right now. Like I said, we're gonna include the clips from the surgery so you guys see like what it's more gonna look like. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of swelling right now, but very happy. We'll do an update YouTube. Still looks good. Yeah. It does look good. We'll do an update YouTube in probably two or three weeks to show you guys, you know, more um, realistic look of what's going to look like once all the swelling goes down. Here. 
So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, follow up on my Instagram and my TikTok because I'm posting a lot of content there. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching. And listen to One Day or Day One podcast. We're launching season two coming very soon. We will talk about all things no shop on that. We're going to do an episode about my no shop and just my experience with it and do some Q&As as well. All the things. Thanks. Peace and blessings.